Hi friends. I just got home from six miles. Trader Joe's and Target. I got more sourdough bread. Abby loves it. So I decided to, she's like, can you get more? I still have the cheese, so I'm gonna make myself a cheese sandwich this morning, or this afternoon. It's after 12. I went to Target also to get, um, I, went, I don't remember, oh, I went for sticky notes. Ash, Chelsea needs clear sticky notes. These are from Costco last week. The kids forgot about it. Hang on. See that sunshine outside? It's gonna be 94 degrees today. It's September. Where was this weather this summer? <laughs> so dumb. It is so hot out there. Um, all right. I gotta drink a lot of water. I finished both of my other drinks and I didn't have a water in the car. This one, well, I actually had a little bit on that one, but it was warm. <sighs> okay, what are we getting up to today other than that? Let's see here. Oh, I also got, so I got, um, at Target, I got, um, what do you call it? I looked for the sticky notes, but I found a better set of them on Amazon. So I ordered them, because it was like get a thousand sticky notes for $10. It's like this whole kit um, on Amazon. Came with, with pens and everything to write on the sticky notes versus $7 for like 40 clear sticky notes. 1,040. I think the better deal was Amazon. <laughs> so, Chelsea needs them for school. Yes, that did happen from Trader Joe's. I went in, didn't get a shopping cart, just happened to find that aisle. They need to get cold um, before I hide them from my family. Um, got milk too, because we are out of milk. Um, looks like someone tried to make a drink this morning <laughs> with the last of the milk. Um, but we're going to go to Costco tomorrow and literally try and get just the basics. I also wasn't sure if we had pasta. We had pasta, but I'm going to make spaghetti tonight before we go to cheer. I'm going to make a nice big batch. Of, I'm going to put this in the, I'm going to leave it out on the counter for now. Um, nice big batch of spaghetti before I go to cheer so it can be kind of leftovers and I found that like for myself I have like a really big meal at this time of day and then later after dinner time like when everyone else has already eaten I tend to eat then this is for Chelsea she's found she likes spray deodorant found a new flavor getting a little tar target haul breeze berry that one looks really good and then my all-time favorite Hawaiian ice Hawaiian shave ice wonder why it's my favorite they don't put that flavor in well they did do a tropical pack from costco that had it but we don't have that pack right now which is kind of a bummer okay um what am i saying where am i at okay spaghetti for dinner i'm gonna have a cheese sandwich for lunch um, I got crackers for Abby. These are like one of her favorite kind of crackers and I just never get them unless they have them at Costco, which is about once a year. Okay. It's unfortunate. I literally was thinking on my walk today, I want these items to show up from Shein today. That doesn't say Shein. This one does. I said, I wonder when that order is going to show up supposed to be here on the 9th it is not the 9th it is the 5th and it came today Abby texted me your, your order is here of course it's here on a day that I am sweaty hot I have zero plans to shower because I have to go to cheer in 94 degree weather in like four hours <laughs> don't want to shower and then get hot and sweaty again but what are these packages what are, what, what's in each of these? I need to explain to you really quick what they're for. Let me make sure the chicken didn't get out. We have had to trap her in. I don't know if Abby checked for her egg or not, but she can stay out if she stays in her coop area. Okay, so let's talk about 
why, I guess, why, why did Jason get a tux the other day? Confirm. Oh, my, sorry, my phone wants to play what I was playing in the car. Okay, I think I put everything away that was cool. I did. Um, okay, so when I thought we were going to go get Jason's tux, I, I thought it was going to be this whole try on moment and it was going to be like a whole thing and we were going to tell you why he was going to get a tux and like you know anyway and then I was going to show you the images of the dresses that I got to wear when he is in his tux and then literally he picked a different place to get his tux from to be fair it was cheaper and he couldn't even try it on it was very anticlimactic <laughs> I think I just was tired at that point in the day and um, I mean I was literally gonna make it its own video like I was just gonna like cut our day at that point do a tux video type thing and then end the day another way it didn't turn out that way so I think I just lost the steam of telling you guys <laughs> so here's the deal some of you remember, I think it was last year or the year before, I can't remember when it was. Um, so there, one of our friends, her, his daughter, um, was on American Idol. Elise Christine is what she goes by. It's her handle. Um, she is on Instagram if you want to go and follow her. She has a large following, had one going into American Idol, and is an amazing singer, has the most amazing voice. Um, she made it to the top 10 on American Idol, and honestly, we all, like, she did great. She got to the top 10. We super supported her. We went to a celebration party at their house to celebrate her, but she did not go beyond um, her 10th place, which is, it's fine. It is what it is. We just joke with her dad, who is, we haven't figured it quite out, um, but I, we think that him and Jason are, this is Elise's dad, are like second cousins. They're somewhat related. They grew up in Alaska together. They moved down here to Washington. We all go, um, we hang out with each other. And uh, he, so Elise's dad, is turning 50 this year. <laughs> He's literally just younger than Jason. And he is throwing himself a birthday party, a gala, if you will, a cocktail, not a cocktail, but he is throwing himself a black tie cocktail party without the cocktails <laughs> because we don't drink. Um, part of that black tie event, which you aren't required to wear a tux, but he wants it to feel very elegant and formal and he wants people to go all out um, to celebrate for his birthday. This is the type of person he is. He loves that kind of stuff. So he's rented a facility. He's having it catered where it's a dinner with like appetizers before. And to end the evening, his daughter, Elise, American Idol Top 10, is performing with two other teammates from American Idol. So it's a big event. It's gonna be really, really fun. They're gonna perform, they're gonna sing for us. We're gonna have dinner. We're gonna be in our black tie, you know, attire. Um, it's gonna be an epic evening. And Jason and I have not done anything formal um, since we got married. We've gone to weddings before, but the weddings that we go to are not like formal, aside from like the bride and groom being in tux and wedding dress and whatnot. We just don't do formal things. It's just not our lifestyle, but we're going all out. And by all out, I mean um, a cheap tux, <laughs> apparently. Not, not cheap, it's gonna be a really nice tux. And cheap dresses from Shein, because I, I still have to, you know, a ball on a budget, kind of a thing. So I ordered two dresses on Shein with plenty of time to get them and try them on, make sure they fit, or if I like them, or if I've lost enough weight, if my belly hangs out, all the things, with enough time to have a backup plan in my Amazon shopping cart <laughs> and quickly get those ones sent to me within a couple days if these dresses don't work. I also have some cheap Spanx type 
undergarments to suck me in and make me all nice and perky without a bra on and all the things, yada yada. And of course they came on the hottest, sweatiest day of the week. So, should we try them on? <laughs> yeah. Let me get cleaned up a little bit and get some lunch. Um, and then I will see if I, I mean, I've got to get out of the sweaty clothes. So we'll see how I feel. I mean, I, I, I want to try them on. So just give me a second and then we'll do that. All right, I have had lunch. I am very full. So I will show you what these dresses look like um, just out of the bag and then I will put them on, I think. And well, well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if I show you. We'll see if I show you. I don't know. Okay, so here's the first one. It is kind of a lacy overlay on the top. Little straps like that. It's only lacy on the top part. Then there's a little ribbon that goes around the waist and then it's just kind of long and flowy on the bottom. Then the second one is velvet, black velvet, and it has like this little piece right around the front of the chest. Nice little sticky thing to hold it up. And then the arm straps go on the sides of the arm, like around my shoulder, not over the shoulder, but I've never worn a dress like this, so we'll see if I can keep it on. <laughs> And then this is the shapewear. Um, there are two different kinds that I wanted to try. Um, so we'll see which one works better. All right, this first one is just like a long tube type uh, shapewear with, you know, it's like a skirt. But I worry on one of these dresses, the slit, I think this goes down pretty far. I think it, it actually goes down close to my knee. But the slit on the dress, I'm kind of worried in general about the slit. It does have the second layer that kind of covers up the slit, but I'm worried that this one won't, uh, that it'll show, and it's nude. Um, I didn't really think about it. It was only $6, so it's not a big deal, but just in case, I quickly ordered, I didn't want to cancel the whole order, um, but then I found this guy, and it's like shorts. So I think it's gonna be more comfortable for me in general. So they're little shorts, and they're short, so I don't think it'll show. And then it has the same little kind of tube top piece as well so that it kind of makes this hold up the ladies at the top and kind of matches the same line. And then this dress, it won't matter, I hope. I don't think it'll affect the V on this one, but we shall see. Okay, I actually really like it. I gotta put you down somewhere. Ooh, this is good. I have funky tan lines. I don't think I have any ability to do anything about that, but I don't know. I, I actually really like it. So here's the dress. Sorry I have to go so far away. Yes, I still have a gut, but the shapewear is holding me in good, but not like tight, tight to where it's uncomfortable. And you guys, I'll just show you the little shapewear that just, this black one is like my favorite thing. And because I had my other surgery, it's been since like middle school, since these ladies could be held up like this, just by a simple shapewear. There's no other bra that has like a seam line. The shapewear itself has like a seam line in the middle. So it's not like a tube, like a, a boob, you know what I mean? But the fact that they are staying up, like, they're in there. They're not going anywhere. I think I kind of pulled it up too high. It does kind of show right here. Okay, thumbnail. I have to say that I'm kind of proud of myself. I'm kind of proud of myself. Does it look like I got sunburned today? <laughs> I probably did. I probably got, oh. Yeah, I probably got some extra sun. But I'm proud of myself. And I feel like I deserve to go dancing, not dancing. I deserve to go to a formal with my husband. This is gonna look so good next to him in a tux. That's what I have to say. 
it's gonna look so good. I don't know what shoes to wear. Maybe, here, we'll just, I'm not gonna, we don't do high heels because they're not healthy. So, not that I'm gonna be wearing big chunky shoes like this, but <clears throat> maybe Jason has something in stock that is like, like a cute black, like open toe kind of thing. Maybe I can wear these because I'm really not like, the shoes themselves are gonna be covered up. You know what I mean? They're not fancy. I'll show you. I, this is just for me to like feel like I'm going out. That's not bad. They're just not fancy. Let me show you. So, like I said, they're not like jeweled shoes. Maybe I'll go look at Marshalls for something. But I don't want to wear like really uncomfortable shoes. You know what I mean? And literally you can't... <laughs> You can't even see my feet. And we're gonna be sitting down for dinner and and just kind of hanging out and stuff. We'll be uh, up talking, walking and stuff. You guys, I kind of feel fancy in this. Like, I, like seriously, we haven't like got dressed up. In 23 years, I haven't gotten dressed up like this. It kind of feels good. And it feels good that like, yes, is there still work to do? Yes. I have a couple more weeks before the party. Maybe I can shed a few more pounds. Does that matter if I do or don't? No, because I actually still feel it nice. I still feel fancy. I still feel good. Um, I'm going to send a picture to my friend because she's going to, and she was kind of concerned with like how fancy or how formal or whatnot. So, because we just don't do this. <laughs> Hang on, I'll put the other dress on. I, I wasn't going to... I really didn't know that I was gonna wear this one. So now I'm curious if I'm actually gonna like that one. They were literally like $25. <laughs> Let me try the other one on. Okay, looks like I'm not wearing anything, but I am. This one, one shows <laughs> way more of my tan line than the other one. Um, and it won't zip up. I think maybe we can get myself into it. Um, but the way the fabric is and the way it zips up, um, Abby can't get it with just her two hands. She needs someone else to like hold that and then zip it up. It is like a stretchy material. Um, so, so then the straps would stay here. Right now they're not staying. This is staying, but like it would be, you know what I mean? Like they wouldn't fall, like they're falling now. Plus, okay, let me just back up. <laughs> it's actually the one I wanted to have. I'm sucking it in right now. But you can see more of my form that I'm not comfortable with in this one. And, well, I'll just try and show you. I do, there's a slit. Um, I don't mind it. I actually think it's really sexy, if you will. Um, but the rest of the dress, when it is kind of slit, it, um, here, let me show you. It like gets in the way. Like there's no way for me to kick it out of the way. I'm having to kick it from behind. And so, and my other shoes would be way visible. Way visible in these, in this dress. Um, and they wouldn't look good with this one. So, I don't think this is it. I was kind of hoping I could just ask you guys for an opinion, and I'm probably gonna pose it that way um, on which dress to choose, but <laughs> I think the other one, actually I gotta go get a thumbnail. I gotta get a thumbnail in this dress. Um, but I don't think there's a, a choice. I think the other one is the choice, which is great. It's fantastic, because I actually feel really, really good in that other one, but here. Let me get my thumbnail. I gotta go back far enough so you can see it. So it kind of looks dumb in a thumbnail because it's not all the way buttoned up. So it is what it is on this dress. I haven't had luck like this in just regular dresses anyway. So we don't even need this guy. I think it would be cumbersome. 
I love, like I am keeping, obviously I'm keeping, whoop, that looked like I, sh I showed more than I <laughs> did. Um, but I am keeping this guy for sure um, because I could use that just like for regular dresses and, oh, and whatnot. Um, I'm really hot. I gotta get out of it. But I love these two, but this shapewear and, the, and this dress are gonna go back. I'm gonna hang this one up. We'll get it steamed and hang it in my closet and get it ready for our special event. I'm so excited. Like I feel really good in that one. Kudos to myself and I'll, I'll fit better like as I lose weight. It's not like the dress won't look good on me. Um, it'll still fit in every other way. Um, I'll just look better in it. So fingers crossed I can lose more weight but I'm also not putting pressure on myself because the dress will work. Okay, I totally forgot to uh, do any more videoing today, but this is appropriate because Jason's home. What do you think about my dress? No, I already texted you. It looks really good. I know what I'm asking your opinion on. Yeah, camera. I mean, I'm excited to see you in it. I'm not going to show him with me in it yet. I, I'm, you're going to have to wait until that night. <laughs> we'll just do it. It's like, not like we're getting married. But... No, but I just want to surprise you in yeah, it. Yeah, that's cool. I, yeah, um, this looks great. It's going to be fun. We'll be all fancy. Tuxedo and all. It's going to look so good next to your black tux. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be good. Um, we just got back from cheer. I ended up having to help another mom get her daughter home. Um, curriculum nights are kind of wreaking havoc on cheer. <laughs> so she had to go to, another mom had to go to curriculum night today. So I took the daughter before and after, took them to get some dinner, took her home. Now we're just barely getting home. But um, we realized at practice today, I was telling the other coach, I was like, hey, I've got curriculum night next Thursday. What is your schedule? Because all the kids are on different at different middle schools. And she's like, oh no, I have middle, I have curriculum night at the same time at a different middle school. And she's like, I, I think we have a problem. And I was like, what, what do we, what was, I was gonna, this is all wet right here. Can you I grab a towel? Why is it all wet? I don't know. Um, nine to more, at least nine of our girls on our squad all have curriculum night next week. And the the way they're doing it is that they're having all the students give their parents a tour. So both the parents and the students are all gonna be gone next Thursday. <laughs> so, it like you gotta so we have like three or four girls that are left. So we That's have to figure all. out what well, we wanna cancel, but we also have like, they need to like, <sighs> We need to actually practice, so. Give them a video, tell them to practice at <laughs> We actually might drop them off and let um, them join another squad. Um, but anyway, as we were coming home tonight, um, got sad news. I'm not gonna show the video of this one, <laughs> but one of Jacob's chickens at his parents' house, um, let's just say a bobcat got it. Um, the chickens had all gotten out you into... You a separate video of Bobcat Gets Chicken? That thing would have like 10,000 views. I know, views. but that's so bad. Yeah, I'm just saying, 10,000 views. It's so bad. Um, they don't have a video of the Bobcat actually getting the chicken. It's just him carrying the chicken down the street. <laughs> um, and unfortunately, when I, we were... Ashley, you know, I said you, you don't have to watch the video. Kaylee can send it to me. Um, I was talking to Kaylee on the phone, whatnot, and I said, it's okay. The bird was probably gone by the time he's walking away with it because he had the head in his mouth. And and Kaylee and Ashley was like, well, how do you know it was already dead? And I was like, because like if you, they usually she's like, its whole body is like, you know, flapping its wings. And I was like, well, yeah, but if you chop a chicken's head off, the whole body still moves. It can actually like run around. <laughs> she didn't know that. So <laughs> She's like, I didn't need to know that. I didn't need to know that. And, and Kaylee's like, oh dear. Sorry, Ash. <laughs> so it's unfortunate. He lost a chicken. Luckily it wasn't Spot. But in the video, Spot hadn't gotten out. Because he, anyway, he doesn't go through the gap that's in the fence. He They're usually jumps out. over. They're all out there. All the other chickens are out, but Spot didn't get out. And you can hear in the video, he is just ca -ca, ca -ca. He's like best because he saw what you know. He knows like he has this this bird. I don't know. 
He knows what's going on. He knows what happened to his sibling. And he is just cacawing and going crazy and it's a different tone than we've ever heard him do. do. <sighs> Poor thing. So Kaylee's kind of sad tonight. So think of her and Jacob and his family. It actually was his twin sister's bird. So they're very distraught tonight as well. So anyway, um, but I am excited to get dressed up in a few weeks. Um, but I'm going to sign off with you guys tonight because I'm very tired. We're going to take this upstairs. So take care and we'll see you guys next time.